this is Shadow of the Jedi. And, and Shadow of the Jedi. And we're here with a Rogue One review. So, to start things off, I thought we'd get started going over the storyline, the characters, the creativity, and the effects. So, let's start off with the characters. What do you think in Shadow? Uh, how about Jen Erso first? Jen Erso. I think she's a better character than Ray. She didn't magic get, get force power. She 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 really wasn't a Jedi. She was beaten down. Spoilers, by the way. She was killed. Yeah, she she was a normal Star Wars character, so I liked her. Kind of blandish, but likable. Yeah, she uh worked very hard, and I think that's important. Mhm. Mm what about Cassian? Oh, he kind of annoyed me throughout the film. Yeah, he was bland, not likable. No, I my favorite. Kind of died. I kind of like that he died. <laughs> the best was a. Bay's Malbus. Uh, no, it wasn't. It was Casey So. Oh, Casey So did steal the show. Yeah, he. I. He was a motion captured character. He. It was special effects that made him. I like. He was funny. He was sarcastic. He. He was the opposite of C. Fripo. Yeah, he. It seems the droids always steal the show, and they did yet again in Rogue One. Yeah, it's, and he's one of my top ten favorite Star Wars characters. Oh, he was great. Yeah, he was funny. I, I was very saddened by his death. Yeah. I think I even cried in the theater. <laughs> how, right. about, how about Baze Malbus? He might be my favorite character in Rogue One. He was, uh, he was cool. He his was gun was awesome. Yeah, he was loyal. He was violent, which is always funny. <laughs> and, and he knows how to kick some serious strong people butt. Yeah, he, he was really great. What about his... What about his partner, Shura Emily? Oh, yeah. Uh, I think he was a good addition. He said a funny line. He's a cool character. He's blind. He uses a stick. His The force is his weapon. He was, yeah, really cool. I thought it was really cool how he got to use, like, the force. And it did get annoying when he said, like, 50 times, I'm one with the force. The force is with me. I, I, I like that part, actually. <laughs> how about... Body. Oh yeah, he was pretty cool when he was. Um, he ends up being held captive and then overcoming that and you know, eventually dying in the end. But he did help the rebellion out along the way. Yeah. Ah, uh, the only character I thought that was a bad addition was the villain. He was the most non-threatening villain you ever see. He was like, ah, oh, why can't you idiots do something? Ah, oh, I'm gonna go find Jen and throw a paper clip book at her. Or oh, I'm gonna write her a DUI. Oh, ah, oh, dang it, you're gonna, you're not gonna get that raise on Sunday, Jerry. <laughs> or oh, you, Bob. That's it, you're getting the motion. Ah, oh, do I have to work on it just all myself? Really, talk and you're giving me the... You're gonna work on the star. Ah, oh, but ah, oh, I'm the most non-threatening Star Wars villain of all time. <laughs> all right, so I think what Shadow the Jedi is trying to say is the villain in Rogue One is, is very lame. bland, very lame, and non-threatening. Nope. But Vader, on the other hand, is awesome. He had the best scene in the entire movie, and that's kind of hard to top. Yeah. Um. I, I, I think the CGI on Leia and Tarkin were great. I yeah, really Leia, did... you couldn't tell the difference. Yeah, I thought they were flawless. I, I loved it. And I love um the planets they got to go on. Especially oh, when that, they went to the, the fire background battle. locations. The backgrounds were beautiful. Uh, imagine the Fantastic Beast background locations and then think and then infinitely times it more in sci fi and that's what you got. And battles going on. Uh, the ba I think the action was great. Yeah, the action, it, it actually seemed like a war movie. Like something It was a war, war film. War it, it was a war film. My yeah. dad calls it a, a dirty death on Star Wars film. Yeah, I really liked it. It was... And it was... It felt like Star Wars. Like, it felt like... The a original... dirty, gritty Star Wars film. Yeah. I don't know if I'll call it the darkest since... You know, Anakin... Since the episode three or sixty six, yeah. and we all know what Anakin did to younglings. <laughs> yeah, but it kind of felt like normal Star Wars again, but also with you know that hint of something new and something different, which yeah, I like. Exactly. The effects. Yeah, let's I, start talking I about the effects. I think the effects were almost as good as Jungle Book, actually. They were really good. 
Like, I remember looking at the CGI at some of the aliens. They were beautiful. I think most of them are practical. Yeah. And they, they you really couldn't tell the difference. I mean, some of them you could tell the difference because they had, like, ten eyes. But other than that, like, the CGI was very, very good. The creativity on the aliens. Oh, yeah, the creativity. That's another thing. It's all... It's amazing. Uh... I think they let some Pixar animators make some concept art. Yeah, I think Pixar was set loose in Lucasfilm Studios. <laughs> While concepting the aliens. Yeah. Yeah, but altogether the creativity was really good. Like, it it didn't really copy any other film. Like, it was it was its own movie, and... The storyline. was good. Oh, yeah, the storyline. So, Rogue One is set... It doesn't with- really have much surprises in it. Yeah, I guess, well, yeah, because you figured they all have to die at the end, and I think they all have to die because they're but not in it, the fourth movie. Well, a non-surprising movie, it's surprisingly surprising how gritty and dark it was. There's yeah. some funny jokes in there. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's kind, it's unpredictable. Yeah. You really don't know what's going to happen next. Except everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that part, we didn't know what happened. Kicking, kicking the can. Yeah. Um, so, let's go over some overall ratings. What would you rate the movie overall? A 9.5, almost perfect. Wow. What? That is I, good. It has a bunch of great things in it. No, I agree. And it overshadows a lot of bad things. Oh, we got to talk about the Death Troopers. Oh, the Death Troopers were amazing. Yep. I, I heard that they scrambled the voices so others can't hear them. Hmm. They still can't aim, though. Yeah, I... <laughs> They they killed Baze, and mm, yeah. they killed a bunch of rebel troopers. Yeah. I think it's because all the main characters have plot armor, except when they need to die. Yeah. I think the writers are the true killers of the story. <laughs> yeah. So what would you rate the effects? Nine. What about the storyline? Eight. And how about characters? I'm going to have to say a 7.5. Alright, and then one more. The creativity. 10. Yeah, it was creative. And with that, this is Shadow the Jedi. And, and- Shadow the Jedi, signing out. Man, I'm moving, I'm